Today, we're gonna take my three smaller snakes from this horribly messy rack to this gorgeous stacking Reptizoo setup with overhead lighting. If you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. So here I have my three enclosures from Reptizoo that I am going to have to put together. Now, these come together so, so fast, so efficient, so easy. You can see I'm taking it out of the box. It's practically already put together for me. All I have to do is add the sides, which are below the enclosure in the box. Everything was super well packaged. And then I'm just adding in the corners here, which the poles are labeled, which is very handy dandy but super easy to put together, literally just adding the poles. Now I'm adding the back corners and you'll see throughout this process that my camera forgets that autofocus is a thing. So here I'm gonna show you again how I put those corners on. And then we're unpacking the glass pieces, which were very well packaged and very well labeled, which I love. And again, my camera just said no to autofocus. So we're just gonna have to roll with it. You'll see me put together the second one in a much clearer way, but that's what the doors look like once they are on. And then we just slide in the back panel. The side panel has a hole already cut out nice and clean for our cord organizer. Slide that sucker right in there. Again, no autofocus, I apologize. And then we're heading in the side, which has two pieces, a kind of mesh screen panel and then a glass panel. That way you have some side ventilation. And then the top just sits right on to make sure that everything is lined up, the corners are lined up, the sides are lined up, that way it sits on properly. And then you screw the lid on. Now in hindsight, I should not have screwed the lid on. When I put these together, these stacking poles had not come in yet. So I didn't realize that when you use the stacking poles, you don't screw the lid on. So I'm gonna have to go back later and unscrew the lid. But then the final touch, we're adding in that cord organizer and what I really like about these enclosures is they also send you handles. See these nice clear little handles that don't obstruct your vision that work really great. Test it out. And they also come with keys so that you can lock the enclosures and then take the key out so they can't be unlocked without the key. But they also come with a little suction cup so you can stick it right to the enclosure. And then it was time to build the next one. So I'm just gonna let this one do its thing. It's going to be much clearer because it won't be going in and out of focus like the first one. But I only filmed the first two. I figured once you've seen me do the first two, you get the picture. I don't need to film the third one. But there are three in enclosures. I just only filmed the first two. All right, it is a couple days later and the stackers have now come in so we can get it all set up. I'm so, so excited. Like honestly, I just threw the enclosures up here to get out of the way and they fit perfectly right here. So if I was still like using like heat mats and everything, it would actually like be perfect, but I really want to give them overhead heat. So we're gonna have to use those stackers and get them spread out. It's dusty under there. Y'all, if you have wire racks for your animals, make sure to like sweep and vacuum underneath. Now we're gonna open the stackers. So you can see we've got some four corner pieces. Instructions are on the box as well as pictures, which are great. I love pictures. And this is where I had to go in and unscrew the lids so that I could screw the corner pieces for the stackers in instead. So I screwed those poles in, put the stackers on, and then stacked the enclosure. And then I had to do it again for the second one. Luckily the top one, I could leave the screws in because I only stacked two. So this is actually a little bit shorter than before. And then I'm just gonna have to find a new spot for my dubia roaches because I like how clean this looks. All right, now I gotta do the door test. The issue is always the rack behind the door. Oh, it opens with room to spare. I was hoping I'd have enough room to put like a tall plant here, but I don't. But at least there's room for like the door to open and it looks clean. It gives a little more room to walk in, 
which is nice. I love how clean this looks. So let's get a closer look at the stacking. So we look right up underneath the enclosure. You'll see like an L shape where the stacking post just slides right in and helps keep it secure. So it wiggles a little bit, but really not much at all. I'm very comfortable with this. This is very nice, very well structured. Okay, so overall thoughts, I think they look beautiful. I think they look very clean and sleek. You guys know I'm all about the white aesthetic, but when it's just like an outline, like a border of black, that doesn't really bother me. It's the full black sheets of like PVC that I don't really like, it's too dark. So this looks very clean. I like this a lot. I like that I can stack them and put lights in between. So overall, very, very impressed. Really do like these. Quick shipping, it came a lot faster than I expected. Well packaged, came together very, very quickly. Like did all three in like an hour, if that. And then just stacked them in like what? 10, 15 minutes, not even. So if you're looking for a way to keep maybe terrestrial frogs or smaller geckos, like baby geckos, like fat tails or leopard geckos or smaller snake species like hognose and sand boas, but you wanna be able to give them overhead heating and still have that nice look of a glass enclosure, I would highly recommend these. If you wanna check them out, I'll put my affiliate link down below in the description so you guys can do that. And make sure to stay tuned because now I'm gonna go ahead and set them up for the three snakes and those will all be three separate videos. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you to Reptazoo for sending these enclosures to test out and see how well they stack. And as always, thank you guys for watching today's video and we'll see you for the next one. Bye.